Hey guys, my name's Nate and I'm the Otter Outdoorsman and in this video we're going to be opening up the July 2018 Karen box. Let's get going. Um, as always, this is a not sponsored video and I always love seeing what's going on inside these boxes. It's a long run series going on with these boxes. I sometimes like to mention that, um, that information every so often because I do every so often get some new subscribers. Um, well, let's see what we got inside of this. Uh, as always, at the end of the video, there'll be a poll, um, or you can check out the iCard um, to vote for which item is your favorite. Last video, it was the Mountain House. Everyone liked that over all the other items, including the Chow Pal uh, spoon. So let's see what we got. A um, lot of stuff. So one thing we have on top is a Gaia GPS one year membership tap into the wild app, which is actually something I've been looking into. Does this have any codes on it? No, so I can actually show this up front. I am looking for apps like this. And I think this is actually one of the apps that is a pay for app to get a premium membership for. And I love an app that turns my phone into a GPS. Now, the one I've been using is called Alpine Quest. And the issue with Alpine Quest I've been finding, it doesn't always catch everything, it doesn't it doesn't always have ever, all the information. So having a new GPS app, I can do some stuff with. And um, long time viewers of my channel, and I'll put an eye card up there to the event that's happening with, know that me and my fiance, Cassie, are getting married. And part of our honeymoon is, we're gonna be doing a lot of hiking. Um, I can't guarantee we're gonna have a lot of GPS information with there, but having um, a G I, I can't guarantee we're gonna have cell signal on everywhere we go, but I found that GPS apps with phones where you don't have a cell signal actually do work pretty well. Um, so having a one-year membership to this is coming at probably the best time for me right now. So I'm actually pretty cool. Uh, let's see, so no, so no cell service required, download maps for when you're off the grid, adventuring and traveling, use Gaia GPS in any number of phones, tablets, or even computers. Um, speaking of computers, I have my new computer, I've been using it. Um, if you saw my trailer that I just put out, I put it out on that. Um, so, has access to over 50 topo satellite roadmaps covering the whole world. So I'm definitely gonna be using this and trying it out. If I like it, no, maybe I'll renew my, my membership. So let's see, what's the next thing? This bad boy. And by the way, if, you, if you've never actually used your phone as a GPS um, with something like Alpine Quest or something, I really do recommend trying it out. Um, before you scoff at it. Um, may take some calibration, but it's great for for quick checks. Um, I use it almost all the time. Ooh. Um, the tea fruit ice strainer, cup holder. So this is EcoVestor. Eco Vessel, the boulder. The boulder! Sorry, whenever I hear the boulder, I always have to say it like, the boulder! If you know that reference, please tell me down below and we can be friends. Anyways, um. <laughs> uh, Trimax, insulated, any drink, anytime, 24 ounce. Seven, uh, 700 milliliters, 36 hours cold, eight hours hot. So it has a strainer, steel outer, steel inner, 
vacuum center, copper inner. Uh, okay, so it has so this part acts as kind of so you can so you can drink it like this, which is cool because I can't tell you the amount of times so with Nalgene's I with my mustache and my beard I've pretty much poured water all over myself on the inside it has a strainer let's see if we can get this off where does it comes with a strainer they can put loose leaf tea it looks like loose leaf tea, fruit, and ice. Cup holder friendly. So both me and Cassie really like ice, loose leaf tea. Uh, Cassie prefers it over me, um, but I do like tea. I'm, I'm big on tea. Well, this holds a lot of it. Um, so you can basically just dunk it down in there, and then you put this back on top and Basically, it, when you're drinking out of it, because it's basically like, get my camera to focus on it, it's right there. When you're drinking out of it, you're not losing that tea and you're not drinking the tea. Actually, even what I could probably do is pour boiling water in here, put some herbs into here, some wild edible herbs in here, make some wild teas as well if I wanted to because pine and some other ones, while great, don't always make some make for some great nibbles. So, be great for some wild tea, but also on top of that, you could also put ice in here as you're drinking, you're not getting, the ice isn't really getting in the way. And you can drink out of the top. So I actually like this. So this is Eco Vessels, the boulder. Has some instructions. I can Take a quick peek at this. Well, so get in here. Not much for instructions. Okay. So, a little trial and error. Nothing hurts. Probably even do, I could even probably make some cold brew in this. That is a terrible idea. And when I say terrible, I mean good. Terrible and good are sometimes the best, are both um, with me synonymous with each other. Nevertheless, Eco Vessel, the Boulder, Trimax Insulated. I kind of like it. I really like it. I like both of these. Let's see. And we also have. Ooh. This is a brand of bar that I came hither to with um, with Karen boxes, and I've actually really enjoyed this company ever since I. I don't order from them that much, um, but I do like them, and I've ordered from them since actually getting from this Karen box. Um, I actually do sometimes get bars from this company, from Karen, uh, or get Karen.com, that I actually do occasionally buy from. Um, one of which is the Bobo bars that I've purchased from, um, or that I've gotten from through this box. I actually buy Bobo bars now for hikes, quite frequently. I find them at REI. Jimmy Bar, on the other hand, which is what this one is, I've ordered from the past. Um, the issue being, it's harder to find one or two individual bars for my hikes. I have to buy them in bulk. So, uh, which kind of is okay, but the thing is, I've been trying to stick away from protein bars a little bit more often, um, which is what these are. So, this is a high protein lemon vanilla swirl. I want to see. So 
So let's show you the nutri. Let's show you. Let's see if I can get you the nutrition facts. And you can pause it on there. And if you're curious of the ingredients. it on that um, as always with things like these you can always also look online but again it's the Jimmy bar lemon vanilla swirl um, I try and show it to you so you can kind of get a quick idea for it um, let's see so this is what it looks like you know what this reminds me of it looks a lot like those cereal bars I used to have, or they used to sell, and I think they still do, in the late 90s, early 2000s. Oh, uh, that's good. Mm. I mean, hitting the table wasn't because it was bad. I had a chew. Took too big of a bite. Okay. There's a lot to unpackage with that. That isn't your standard Jimmy bar. Your standard Jimmy bar is a date bar. This is a protein bar. This has a texture of some of the cereal bars, but more proteiny. Somewhat more kind of like a Rice Krispie treat, but more, but as if someone, I'm trying to think of the way of describing it, someone had more sugar to it, and the Rice Krispinesses kind of melded into one. The Rice Krispie and the marshmallows melted into one. That is the that is the texture profile for you, a Rice Krispie treat in which the the brown rice the puff brown rice and the marshmallow just melds into one. I mean, it's not bad. You can kind of taste the lemon. You can kind of taste the vanilla. It is very sugary. Very, very, very sugary. Jesus. It's actually too sugary for me. I don't say that much. Okay, I'm putting that down. So, you, and then we have the box. We also have a pamphlet with information. Yellow sticker. So, this is the part where you get to vote. Which item do you think is the best item in the box? Do you think it's a, a year worth membership to uh, Gaia GPS? Which, honestly, I tend to use Gaia GPS. I tend to use GPSs a lot, especially if they have maps. Um, especially when I'm out hiking in places where they don't have trail maps easily accessible or the only place I can do is print them off and the printed off map at home is not that great so is it the Gaia GPS me membership is it the eco vessel that has a opening on the top and a strainer in the middle And is about 24 ounces worth of water. 
And it's insulated. Is it the protein bar that's lemon, vanilla swirl that I really didn't have much of a swirl. And it's, it's pretty dense. Almost as dense as my head. Or is it the yellow sticker? Which one do you choose? You should be able to vote up here. There'll be an eye card that pops up. Um, but yeah, which one you choose? Um, my choice, I'm actually up between the member, the Gaia GPS membership. I've actually been looking for a new GPS app because I'm not a big fan of the Alpine Quest one right now. And this, because I do like having um, insulated bottles that we can strain things in because we do like our tea and juices and stuff. We do like bottles like these. So I'm in between these two. I really am. Um, so which do you choose? Um, but anyways, my name's Nate. I'm the Otter Outdoorsman. And you have a good day from working out in the woods and have some fun. Heck, just get outside. It's a beautiful summer day, hopefully, where you are today while you're watching this. See you, everyone.